Hello everybody in a very familiar background, right? I mean, if you look back there, you can see Mr. Yves Saint Laurent. Um, a bittersweet video to make. In fact, I don't actually think that I can find anything sweet about it. More of a bit of a painful one because I'm pretty sure that this is the last time you will ever see me in this flat. So, is this a goodbye to Paris? <sighs> okay, let's get some stuff out of the way. It's exactly one year since I moved in this apartment. How crazy, right? How crazy. I think it's even maybe on today's day that it's one year or tomorrow. I'm not, or yesterday, I don't know. But like sometimes this week would be exactly a year since I moved in this apartment. And I remember exactly how it was. We um, got the keys and we quickly started moving in because we wanted to go to Positano for a holiday. It was a very last minute, very last minute holiday. So we didn't even have time to do stuff. Like we didn't have time to like tidy it, to get some things that we wanted to get. We just put our things in and we immediately left for holidays. And today is the last time that you will see me vlog here because this flat, ah, uh, there's so many questions that I wanna answer. I just don't know where to start from. So I'll get to the beginning. Okay, let's get back here where something's missing. It's my wardrobe, my favorite, favorite wardrobe. This room feels, feels so empty right now. Okay, here we are. Ah, what can I tell you guys? I got so many questions about, first of all, the most common question was, girl, why did you give the apartment tour? If, um, you know, you know how internet works, people watch, people see what you have, they see where everything in your apartment is, and then, of course, you get robbed. And that's actually quite a misconception because I never gave a tour of this apartment. In fact, people were saying you showed us your balcony view, people showed us exactly, you showed us exactly where you live, we could see on your street. That was this apartment. It's completely in a different arrondissement. That apartment that I showed, I showed when we were leaving it. And I, that apartment is in the first around the small. This apartment is in the eighth. I don't even need to show, to be honest with you, where I live. People very often can find where you live and very often post addresses online, which is, I mean, if they don't see the illegal part of it and how dangerous and scary it can be for some people, then, I mean, I'm not gonna talk about it at all. But unfortunately, yes, there are people who do things like that online. And besides that, I never actually vlogged in my street. I never actually showed outside of the window on the street. I never actually not once gave an apartment tour of this apartment. And I only would do that when I'm leaving the apartment. Of course, I showed you my everyday stuff, getting up, getting dressed, choosing a bag, choosing a look, but not the things that could be revealing on my vacation. So to answer, that is it. And after, obviously, the robbery, many people ask me, why, Tara, do you want to leave the flat? The flat is beautiful, you love living there, you're so happy there, so why would you want to leave that place? And it's actually very simple, I just don't feel safe here anymore, and it's so sad. It actually really breaks my heart, because I love this flat. I love this flat so much, it's a place where I was so happy, it's a place where I remember spending a whole month of like a total lockdown. Sorry, the light is changing. I don't have my lights anymore. They're packed. Packed and gone. A lot of you have asked me like, oh my God, you know, why are you moving? And that's the, that's the true story. Like I, I would never move. I actually was gonna stay here for the entire next year, which I already announced. And I was so happy to stay in this flat because first of all, I love the location. This apartment is basically on the main shopping street. It's on Faubourg Saint Honoré, which is like for me a dream because I'm three minute walk from Hermes, which many of you might understand that is the perfect location for me. And besides that, I just love the light in this apartment. I love the way it looks. I love so many things about it, but I just, you know, I couldn't sleep here anymore alone. I couldn't feel comfortable here anymore alone. I don't consider this my flat anymore, and I used to. Every time I would land in Paris, I felt like it was home for me. But last night when we arrived in Paris, I said, wow, it doesn't feel like I'm going home anymore. And you know, the, even the most beautiful house can be a house, but if it's not a home, 
it's just what is the point you know and that's a very sad reality if you ask me <sighs> yeah i don't know what to tell you about that but it is a bit um, it is sad when you kind of lose a home overnight on the other hand i know that i will be able to find like another place i've spoken about this before but i just wanted to close this chapter and i do a video there's people at home i wanted to cl close this chapter and tell you about the fact that obviously i don't feel safe in this flat anymore and that we are leaving it my boyfriend's very happy about it because he knows that he could not leave me here anymore alone and uh, i mean we found other places we found so many different things we just need to decide which direction our life is gonna go now and it's annoying because for me i'm used to making decisions from stomach and from the heart like how it feels not because i have to make a decision in that given time and now since everything happened around this time kind of had to make this decision so look at this tower this is where the camera was. I mean, I literally don't know what I'm gonna do, obviously, with this. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna pack this and bring it with me now that now that we're leaving because it just doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Now it feels very different, very strange. But it is what it is. And um, yeah, the new chapter is coming. This old chapter, it's, it's time to close it, you know? It's time to close this chapter and to say goodbye to Paris. Or is it? I will answer to that question in a second. This feels so surreal when you see a place that used to be like filled with stuff completely empty. I mean, obviously we couldn't even take everything. Like I left like things, the scale that I bought, I don't know, like towel and things like that, just because it kind of seemed pointless even to take it. It's crazy. And it's very echoey now that it's empty. Okay, so I wanted to kind of finish off this video and talk to you guys about how I feel and what's going on. So is this a goodbye to Paris for me? I have to say it is for now, but it is not forever goodbye to Paris. At the moment, I... Like I said, I don't really know what to do. My boyfriend's job is sort of like a lot in Milan as well. As you guys know, I have a management team in Milan, but I also work a lot in London. There are many options, like a uh, kind of main, most logical thing would be like a buying a place in London, which is what I was on the road to do anyway um, at the beginning of the pandemic. I wanted to start living in London and then eventually like start renting in London to kind of see which area I like and then eventually buy a place in London, but I don't know now. And then buying a place in London, whereas I realized in the past one year of living in Paris that London is the least fashion-oriented city, actually. And uh, as much as I love, love, love London, I love the UK so much for me, London for life is the best but for fashion it's just not very let's just say it's not the center of the world as i kind of thought it could be um so it's mainly milan and paris actually and uh, that brings me back to the fact that i actually really like paris despite the fact that it's actually very unsafe and there's that i i don't enjoy like obviously i enjoy quite nice expensive things i like to wear beautiful jewelry watches and then what is the point if you cannot enjoy them in paris if you constantly have to look behind your shoulder have to pull your sleeve down you have to watch where you are i guess the best option would be moving to dubai right because that is the safest place to be yeah when everything comes together i'm at a point in my life where i'm forced to make a decision now because otherwise what am i gonna do my family is giving me unconditional support to do whatever i want my boyfriend also and at the moment i don't really feel like apartment hunting searching and being forced to buy something that maybe i don't really love 100 percent just because i have to settle and equally i don't really want to like search for a place to rent like right now in this city or that city because it feels like i have to make a decision that i'm not ready to make does that make sense i don't know overall this definitely doesn't feel anymore like my place you know it doesn't feel anymore like place where i spent a year it doesn't have that appeal anymore but i am happy to 
have had this experience um, in Paris. To live in Paris for over a year was a beautiful experience and that is why I don't think I'm done with Paris yet. I think I'm going to keep searching. September is a fashion month anyway, so during the fashion month I don't really get to um, settle and be in one city anyway. I think I'm just gonna spend most of the time between Milan and London in September. Of course I will be in Paris for Paris Fashion Week and then in October I think I will start trying to understand where I want to settle but I'm just not ready for that decision-making process yet. Yeah, that is basically it. Okay guys, I wasn't gonna film um, anything now but I felt like the mood is such that it's maybe best if you actually get it from the first hand. I came with my boyfriend for lunch to Marcos. It used to be our favorite place, it's kind of our favorite place. It is our yeah. favorite place, it's not it used to be. Yeah, but we used to come here all the time. Well, we were living in Paris. The feeling actually is a little bit worse than I thought it would be. I thought it would be just bad, kind of packing in the flat, but leaving it and closing the door and saying goodbye and kind of realizing that I'm not coming back there anymore is much worse. To kind of leave it and to say goodbye, I, that was really, really harsh. It felt very... Uh, very like we're closing a chapter and we're opening a new one. That's how it felt. Yeah, Always but, exciting. But also very sad for me because there were so many beautiful feelings there and I was not ready yet to leave that place. So that's it. But um, I just wanted to share that with you. Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's not morning, but I'm still in my Christmas pyjama and I'm currently in Brighton, as you probably can see. Maybe you can't see, but this kind of vlogging from this particular corner really reminds me of Vlogmas, in particularly the Vlogmas 2019. I think I spent most of the mornings here wishing you good morning in different languages of the world. I wanted this video to be about closure of the Parisian apartment because I envisaged it that I will, you know, show you a closure of that chapter of my life and of this video, of this vlog channel, I suppose, because I feel that I also owe it to you to show you guys what's going on in a right way. But it was way more emotional than I expected it to be. I thought I was way, way, way stronger for it to affect me because, you see, I've moved homes many times before. Even as a child, I've moved homes so many times. And as an adult and I don't know like even from the previous apartment in Paris to move into that apartment was so easy it was like a day job top top done didn't affect me but that closing the door of that apartment and leaving and just leaving it it felt like I was not ready to leave I kept saying goodbye and goodbye and goodbye and I just wasn't ready to leave and I felt so weird like how am I leaving this you know, it felt super unusual. Afterwards, I was feeling so emotional, I couldn't understand it. So I spoke to my sister and I told her that it was a very painful experience for me, to which she said that she thinks, and she's here by the way next to me, so she can confirm Indeed. what I'm saying, is that she thinks that I kind of felt defeated. And when she said that, I felt like that's spot on how I feel. I felt really like, I don't know, I felt that I did not want to leave that place. I wasn't ready to leave it. You left earlier than you were ready. Exactly. Than planned. Exactly. And you know, on top of like losing so many of my personal belongings, which okay i also lost a home in paris yeah. place where i had so many plans i had so many things planned for the next year i wanted to stay there i wanted to do a lot and all of a sudden i wasn't able to because i i, I couldn't feel safe anymore in that place which was extremely I sad no i couldn't feel happy i felt betrayed by that place i felt unsafe every time i left home i looked around outside i kept looking outside of the windows looking across into the building that was looking into my apartment thinking like if someone is watching me it felt very strange i mean there are more things that i want to share with you but i can't unfortunately share a lot with you which is what i mentioned in the one of the initial videos after the robbery but I, ho I hope i soon will be able to share more you know little pieces will come together and you will be able to connect the dots but that is it we closed the door to that apartment in paris and right now i'm spending a weekend in brighton and you know what one door closes another one opens i hope few doors will now open because <laughs> i think i need more than one door 
I need some sliding doors. <laughs> yeah, I need the windows, doors, everything. I mean, honestly, I think like I felt the worst of the whole process, healing process. I felt the hardest when I was leaving that flat. Like I just was really low, like not crying or anything like that, but really felt sad. I felt defeated and I'm I'm never defeated, you know? I'm yeah. I'm not a person that loses first of all. If I lose, it means it's just a battle, not a war, because that is my mentality. Like, you know, my mentality is such that I don't really tend to feel defeated. I feel like I can always keep going, but I felt really low and I felt that I just don't have any more energy, you know? Two months dealing with, the hardest thing was dealing with papers, like passports, visas, permits, paperwork. Like now I just, as I was logging, I was thinking, oh my God, all the paperwork now I still have to do to finish off with the Paris flat. And then this weekend I'm gonna use to set many things up, like many, many things that I need to set up. And I also need to actually conclude what I'm gonna do with my life. As many of you know, we have an apartment which is in preparation in Milan, like that we are planning to move in but I'm just sitting and speaking to my sister because everyone else is out speaking to my sister and we're discussing what's my best option because you guys know the options are London, Paris, Milan kind of possible you know and I was just telling her you know there's so so many potential things I didn't feel ready to move so I don't want to like search for for example I don't want to search for a place that I move into just because I have to, because I don't have time. I don't want to not have the options. I don't want to feel pressurized to buy a place that otherwise I wouldn't have bought or to like rent a place that I, I'm not 100% happy with. So for me, the most important thing I think right now is to really, really ask myself what I want, what I need and what's the most beneficial thing for me. And I find that very hard. Very hard because I, I don't know, I'm confused. And I don't think these kind of feelings that I'm feeling are the right time to be making decisions. So the problem is that I need to make a decision because I cannot live out of boxes. I'm losing my mind. This morning, I couldn't find for the memory card reader. And I needed to quickly transfer the video to the computer. And I couldn't find the card reader because we have at the moment five suitcases that we've been traveling with. Oh, it's like a nightmare. Then I waited for my boyfriend to wake up. Then I had to ask him the best part of all is that it's afternoon i'm with my sister i'm in christmas pajamas that feels the best i love being in christmas pajamas in august i think uh i don't know well, when we are together it's christmas every day isn't it one thousand percent exactly correct so that's kind of reality of this video not really much to do with like what's going on but i'm not gonna finish it here because i feel like the video itself is probably not very, I don't know, interesting or useful. It's just it's just a connection to what's gonna come next. I also have a lot more things coming up that I want to share with you. A lot more things that I think um, will be exciting to show you very soon. And uh, yeah, so I'm spending a few days in London, or in London, in, in England. And then I, I'm thinking of going maybe to spend half a day in London, but I was thinking, but it's not going to be possible because I am going to stay here tomorrow. There's like a football game, so I'm like going to be a babysitter. I was going to go to London tomorrow because you're working, but it's not going to happen because <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm a babysitter. But I will show you some of the stuff. I have a lot of packages that I have upstairs, so I'll try and incorporate more things into this video that you can actually find watchable besides me having monologues to the camera. I think many of you understand because many of you are asking those questions. Quick demonstration of my current living conditions. On top of all of my troubles, since I had the acid peel, I'm peeling like, I don't know if you can tell. See how shiny? Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Maybe on the nose. No, I can't tell, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm peeling <laughs> so much because I'm basically losing one layer of skin to get a new young skin and to look better, hopefully. I received a few things over here that I actually wanted to show you. And what I'm very, extremely excited about are these Charlotte Tilbury goodies, because Charlotte Tilbury is one of my absolute favorite, favorite makeup brands. And I got, which I actually was going to buy, but I just, last few months I was in such a whirlwind of everything. This is a nude gas on face palette. I will link everything below. Oh my God. This looks amazing. It's like a nude with a peachy blush and a highlight. I used to have a palette like this, but it was just a little bit more intense. This is the new one. Perfect 
cannot wait to use it. There was also another one. This is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. Let's see, Super Nudes for Eyes always sounds like a great thing. Like I said, I will link it below. It's not sponsored, but in case you guys are interested. Ooh, look at this. Something's vibrating, but it's not my phone. Okay, this is it. Let's see how pigmented it is. This is the middle shade. I really, really love this color, actually. Then I also received my figuring mascara, which I'm like using constantly, and it's the Lift Up. I, I mean, I've used like three or four of these already, so nothing new. Then what is this? This is Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, on one side, it's like a duo pen. On one side is like the eye brighter thingy bob, and on the other side, it's. Is this brown or black? I think it's like a mousy brown. It's beautiful actually stunning stunning i love this at the moment i'm using one from too faced i really love it it's a waterproof black liner and i really really like it i will link that one as well below because i love it and then for lips let me check this is my bag this is my favorite go-to lipstick and it's from charlotte Tilbury penelope pink i mean you can see it's like a typical nude it's a bit like you know i use it all the time it's my go-to everyday lipstick but now charlotte tilbury is kindly sent me five lipsticks they're super nudes and i cannot wait to try them you guys always want to know what lipsticks i use but this one here we go it is in shade cover star not to like be braggy but i can only do this once a month in a month you know like this is the month so a cover star how very appropriate i don't know if this is a coincidence or not i think like it's a moment to like brag a little bit please i hope you guys won't mind next shade is catwalk king let's see it's a bit darker perfect for fall i would say i will link them all below but now you can see them a bit better maybe i should have tried them on as well but maybe not with this peeling face and no makeup on it will not look well lipstick is like one thing that once i've got a full face of makeup on i like to apply as like a, a crown of everything you know it's not something i just apply with no makeup with no makeup what i like to apply would be like a bit of highlighter and these are usually my favorite so i love this shade this looks like it could really be my next favorite so far my favorite for sure runway royalty then I'm sorry about this ice cream van. I hope it's not making anybody crave ice cream. Then we have... This one is in... Uh, also like a matte version. Supermodel. It's a bit darker. And then the last but not the least. We have... Like a chocolatey one. Super fabulous. There we go. It is super fabulous. So that is it. Thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury team. This is really lovely, and I'm very excited to try out these new products. But before we progress, I also have to show you something else. I received a package from Guerlain. Actually, now Violet, a friend of mine, is a creative director of Guerlain, which makes me very, very happy because she's incredible. She also um, has her own makeup line. She's so talented, and I love everything she does. And I'm so happy to see that she got this incredible role. Over here we have the Honey Cataplasm Mask. I've used this many, many times. It's a sheet mask and it's wonderful. Then there's a lot of little bits and bobs like a Youth Watery Oil, the Night Cream, the Serum that I also used and showed before. This is quite great for traveling, to be honest. So it's like a tester starter kit in a way if you want to try any of these products. Also received... Oh, I love this fragrance. This is the YSL Black Opium. It's one of my absolute favorites. And from YSL, I think this is my favorite fragrance in general. Um, then we have the new Dior fragrance here. This is the Vanilla Diorama. I already smelled this. Is someone waving in the background? Hello. Hi. I'm done. I come for your video if you okay. need any help. Okay, I would like to hear... Did you play football? So we had, like, had like a very good day. First we went to do some football. Football? How was and football? Then we, and then we like the best. I was like kicking like so hard. Tedka's boyfriend said, if that's all you've got to I, like kick some like harder and harder until he couldn't get it. But what I want to hear is, did you show him how we run? You're not in the frame, by the way. Do you want to oh. sit in my lap? Yeah. Oh, you're so heavy. You're not anymore 17 kilos, are you? Yeah. How um, many kilos do you weigh now? Um, I think I'm 25. Also, you smell like grass. Yeah, that's because I've like been going in the grass. Great. Well, I was just showing what I received. I got this new fragrance from Dior and I smelled it. And it smells like Mr. Christian Dior's Can I smell it? favorite 
dessert yes in a second but i want to unbox Ooh, i also received a twilly i forgot actually to show you this one this one i got mm. when um i came to harrods last time i was in london for the special opening that they opened the pop-up of your pop-up of the new um, it's like a basically first drop of the Autumn Winter Collection. I came for a pop-up and this is what I received. I received many products from Yves Long and I love, love, love the brand as well. So especially the cleanser. The cleanser is my favorite. It's the hot cloth cleanser type of thing. There's so much and I also love their lip balm. And like and subscribe. You can do like saying one more time. We've unboxed a lot of the new things that we received. We also received, I think, I have already shown it. It's somewhere here, my new Dior bag. But I've shown it on my Instagram. So in case you haven't seen it, you can head there. And, and you have to search Tamara first. <laughs> and then you like find like that like Tamara picture. What I really want to know, Stefan, yeah. is did you miss being on my YouTube channel? A lot. I really want to like be there like every day. Every day? But well, I'm not filming every day. Well, you should do. Do you think so? Oh, I forgot to show that I received these beautiful products from Laura Mercier. So I received something new. Wow, the packaging is new, I believe. Yeah. Rose gold, right? Yeah. This is highlighter powder. Looks insane. Look at that. Beautiful, right? And then, can you read this for me? What did we receive here? What does it say? Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. Caviar Stick Eye Color in color... Rose Thorn. Rose Thorn. Thorn. It's not Thorn. It's a Thorn. I, I like saying like Thorn because I can't say TH very well. Oh no. But you're my favorite still. Do you know that? Okay. We got a lot of Caviar Stick. Okay, um, so now I have to like go and pick up some Lego. So it's like very nice being here. And are you going to continue doing Legos with your... Yeah. With Where would you think Tatka should live? Do you think Tatka should live in London, Paris or Milan? I think that you should live right here. <laughs> okay, besides here, where do you think London, Paris or Milan? I think that you should live in London. In London? Well, anyway, okay. Thank you for like having me here. Yes. And it was like a very great time for me to be here. Mm -hmm. And thank you all and bye. And before they click out, what should they do? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Okay. Um, that's it when it comes to the novelties and the items that I have received while I was in, um, where was I? In Montenegro and Serbia because Last time I was in England was, I believe, like 10 days ago or so. Because I left my few of my bags here, actually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pack this, put a lot of stuff to laundry, go make a bag for dry cleaning, and actually um, see what I need from here, what I don't need from here. Be a little bit wise in organizing the space. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day in Christmas pajamas and my home Uggs. These ones I don't wear outside, just at home. And I'm so cozy and I'm so happy when I can do this. It doesn't happen often. Also, I don't know if I actually showed that I cut my hair. I mean, I did on my um, Instagram, but not on here. My hair was this long. It was until my rib. So this is how much I chopped which for me is a lot, and I was very, very happy to do that, which makes me think that either I'm getting old or mature, but I highly, highly doubt about getting mature. I just, I, I have no aspiration to become that. I just want to, you know, <laughs> enjoy being young here as much as I can. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video, like Stefan said. I'm so happy that I could share some very real feelings with you and not kind of... I think there was like zero glamour in this video, it was just real, real rawness. Christmas pajamas, Stefan, family, move, and feelings. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.